Chris Pond and Dean Grimm are two big guys and two of the reasons why the South Okanagan Flames have a big presence out on the court. There's roles to fill in all sport on a team, but you get a cornerstone like Chris Pond and then Dean who's an incredible goalie and he'll play anywhere you want him to. Chris Pond will play anywhere you want. Dean will play out, whatever the situation is. These guys just step up and they absolutely enjoy it and they're up for the challenge. Pond wears 21, his jersey number from last year when he played field lacrosse for university and made it to the Nationals. Pond will age out of junior lacrosse at the end of the season, but he appreciates the opportunities to travel he has had with the sport. Right, I played on traveling team when I was in grade 12. I got to see a lot of places I didn't think I'd be able to see. I've seen New York and Florida and stuff. And it's just opened a lot of doors that some sports just don't allow you to get. Uh, Flames across, I really like the team. I like hanging out with the guys. The dressing room atmosphere is really fun. Our bus trips are always a lot of fun. Just getting to know everyone. And of course, winning games is a good time. Grimm plays with the UBC Thunderbirds in field lacrosse. And here plays forward as well as goal in box lacrosse. He believes his experience out on the court gives him an edge guarding the net. I used to play on forward all the time, so I know what players think when they're coming in on the net and I know what they see when they're coming in on the goalie. So I, I kind of think about that when I'm in net. I like to kind of play with the players a little bit, sometimes give them the corner and then they think they've got it and take it away. It's really exciting. A lot of people don't know haven't seen lacrosse or don't know too much about it, but it's a really quick game. Things can happen really fast. Like our team will get five goals and their team will come right back with five goals and it gets really exciting. A lot of close games most of the time. There's mutual respect out there. It's not field lacrosse and I love the game of field lacrosse, but there's boards here and you got to respect guys and no hitting into the boards, no back checking. They're taking a lot of cross checking out of the game. They're still stick to elbow and it can still be a fast, uh, I, don't, I don't want to use the term violent, but a rough game. But when you get 20 guys on both bench and they're going at it for an hour and a half, a few tempers flare up and, and the fighting's being removed and it, it's a lot more enjoyable for the people who want to come out and watch a good sport. It's good, it's really exciting. Uh, it's nice working with the defense. We got some new guys out there that are working really hard. We got some really tough guys out there. I like to move the ball up the floor all the time. We've got good offenders that like to rush up the floor and I get a lot of assists just for making the save and quickly passing it up the floor. So many people that we invite to come out to these games go, I've always wanted to see a lacrosse game, but to, once I experienced it, it's a fantastic game. With the loss of Pond and Grimm next season, the Flames will rely on the younger players to fill two pairs of big shoes. I believe I'm a leader by example, so I make sure every time I'm on the floor I'm working my butt off, either if it's on offense or defense, or if I don't have the ball or if I do have the ball. Whenever it is, just be a good role model. So show them that you guys can do it too.